Hey guys, welcome back to another Divinium demo. Got a bit of a cold, so don't mind my voice. Uh, this is a Ray Skywalker MB Sabres Metal Master, and it's a really special one. Um, the hilt itself is just a KR Sabres one. Uh, I did all the customization. Um, this is just dremeled, as recommended in the, uh, the DIY video that Cal did. But instead of painting, I kind of sanded with a bit of an emery stick around the areas and then applied a chemical patina, make it look a little more realistic. Also some mesh in the glass eye. Um, we got the venting on the bottom. We got the belt clip here. Uh, clamp card is magnetic. It's pretty, pretty straightforward there. Um, this is your power button. This is your aux button, slide tab. So we take out the glass eye. And there's our chassis. It's got a static plasma gate with my static magnet insert. Uh, you can reposition it, it's on a bearing, so if you want, you can you know, slide it around, however. Uh, boy, if I can get it back into place now with, with one hand here. I like it centered, so it's on display. There we go. That lightsaber, it belongs to me. This is a Metal Master 2.0, but we've upgraded it to have USB-C right there. Um, and wired to a V3, so we have USB charging. Um, and I've actually just plugged the recharge port hole with a silver thing there. Um, it's actually sterling silver, which is cool. If you want to charge, you can pry that off, just super glued on, but really, you can just charge with USB-C. Um, we've got a custom-made strip of 22 pixels in there with a Stoke V3. Plasma gate has the MB Sabre 6 pixel illuminated bit, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a ton to say about this. I built so many of these, but let's talk about the crystal itself. This is where it gets really interesting. Um, <clears throat> the client sent me uh, some of his mother's ashes to infuse in a crystal. Uh, they shared a love of Star Wars, and he wanted his mother to be at the heart of his lightsaber. So if you look closely, you can actually see, let me refocus this here. Uh, the way I did this is I ground up in a mortar and pestle some of the, the ashes, uh, the larger chunks. I, I ground them up into a fine powder, mixed them in with a resin, and printed a crystal, uh, similar to this. It took me a couple tries to get the dye right. <clears throat> this one is a lighter color than the, the loose crystal. Uh, then I drilled it out, filled it, or I guess it was already hollow, so I filled it with uh, the larger portions of ash and then filled it with resin. Then I drilled it out and installed a fiber optic so that it can glow in between um, on the inside and outside. So you can actually see, you know, portions of ash illuminated inside the crystal. And then uh, I wasn't gonna throw out this uh, prototype crystal, so we are including it with the, the commission. USB-C micro USB adapter. Very straightforward, but let's pop it in and turn it on. Show it off a little bit. We just got the one font, one blade color. There's, yeah, there's not much else to say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video here and get back to, to work and maybe have a cup of tea. Anyways, thanks for watching. May the force be with you.